Hi, this is Erin from the Science Off Center team here at the St. Louis Science Center with an activity you can do at home. It's actually sort of a toy. What you'll need is you'll need a, two identical or close to identical soda bottles, some sort of tape, duct tape, whatever works well, scissors, a knife, which means you'll also need parental supervision, and then uh, some of this plasticky cable that's used to make bracelets or beaded things. First thing you'll need to do is you'll need to make some cuts in the bottle. The cuts don't have to be um, at super specific spots, but you'll need to make two rings. You'll need to cut off the bottom and make two rings. So, what we're going to be making is a zoom ball. And a zoom ball is a way to illustrate inertia, which means that things keep going once you get them going. There. And so we're going to use these rings as handles. The rings are about an inch apart, two centimeters. It can be a little less than an inch. It's not really critical. You don't even have to trace them out if you just want to eyeball it. And so as we are cutting these, be careful. And by doing this, by making these rings, you'll also be making the base of the zoom ball itself because we'll be using the top part for the ball. So you can see how that happens and I have one that I've already cut all the way through. So once you have two bottles, you'll have the top parts and then the rings. You take the top parts and you just squish them in together, one of them inside the other. You can kind of bend it in a little bit to get them to fit inside. When you get them in each other, it looks sort of like a football shape, and then you're going to take the cord and thread it through there. Um, the longer the cord is, the harder it will be to make the zoom ball go. So I recommend string that's about twice as long as the width of your arm. So for smaller kids, make the string shorter. And I have some of that pre-cut as well. You'll need two long strings, and you can see this one is roughly two arm spans for me. So this will work well for people with adult size arms. And you're going to take it and tie it around one of the handles here. I just do a regular double knot. With this kind of string it tends to come loose a lot so you might need to do an extra double knot or if you want to add some sort of glue you can always do that. But make sure it's at least a nice tight, uh, a nice tight knot. You have that with one of them, and you'll do the same thing with the other one, again only tying one of the handles on because we'll need to thread it through next. Do a double knot here, and then you're going to thread them through our ball type thing, our zoom ball. Once you get through that, you'll be able to tie on the other end. So, you're going to get it through. Tie it on. Then you'll do the same thing with the other handle. And the other thing you'll need to do is if you want to just keep it sturdier, wrap some tape around just to hold the two ends of the bottle together. Cut that there. So, like I said, I did one, you'll thread the other one through and try the other handle on, and then you'll be ready to test out your zoom ball. So, now I have Miss Kate here helping me out. And we have the zoom ball on the cord here. So let's show you how it works. Ow! <laughs> so, what you can see there is you can get it going pretty fast. And once you get it started, it keeps moving because of inertia. And inertia is just the tendency of all things to keep moving in whatever direction they're moving at the same speed they're moving. You'll see that there's some problems with friction, so that'll slow it down eventually. 
And when it gets to the end, it will bounce back either off of the handles or off of your knuckle if you're unlucky and can go back the other way some. Um, one of the things you'll uh, notice is that it goes faster if you pull your hands back faster. So if you're having trouble getting yours to work, I always recommend that people pretend there's a ninja on either side of them if they're knocking out. And that'll get you going really fast. Let's watch again. And you can see, even professionals need practice, but make one of these, it's a lot of fun, and you can get really good at it.